Michelle Bastian here at the Veggie Fest 2015, and we are here speaking with Ms. Karen Calabrese, who is a raw food expert, which is a, a distinction upon uh, the vegetarian community here at uh, the Veggie Fest. Welcome, Karen. Hi, welcome. Well, you know, you give me that title of raw foodist, but I want your um, viewers to realize that I didn't just become a raw foodist. You know, I was a vegetarian first, like so many of the people here already. Then I became a vegan, and then I found raw foods. So I think it's a progression for people. Some people jump right in it. But yes, I have been a raw foodist for about 30 years now, and it has really served me well. And that's extremely impressive, because I, I, I know firsthand how hard it is uh, to take on, um, you know, just a completely raw food lifestyle, where um, if you could talk a little bit more about that, um, you keep everything under 120 well, no, degrees? Well, no, here's the deal. I, you, you said something wrong right away, okay. and I by sure. saying it's hard. It really isn't hard. If Good, you let's allow, dispel yes, that myth. Yes, let's it's dispel not that hard, myth. because yes. if you go into it thinking it's going to be hard, then it's yes. going to be hard. Right. If you go into it as a journey of what you, some place to go, just putting one foot in front of the other, it isn't hard. If you go into it like, I'm going to eat raw foods and nothing else, yes, it's hard. But if you go into it saying, well, you know, I'm going to maybe have 40% more raw food than 50%, then 60%, I'm going to keep researching it, I'm going to learn to make food, I'm going to check into Karen's website so I can get all my stuff ship to me no just joking mm -hmm. I'm going to you know if you make it a lifestyle and not something I've got to get and got it done because there's nothing to get in this world anyway mm -hmm. it's all part of the journey and if you learn to love and enjoy the journey you're going to get there I do like to just remind people that if you don't take care of this your body the most magnificent machine you'll ever be given where are you gonna live thanks Michelle mm -hmm.